You know, I've been uh, part of multiple implementation of secure DevOps in, in or larger organizations. And what I found, and having conversations with multiple you know, professionals in the field, I found that the focus of implementation of secure DevOps was mostly technical. And I don't think that you can be successful without the technical aspects, so you definitely need that angle. But it's also very important to have the organizational angle as well. And then nobody can tell you that story better than executives, right? So that's why we have you know, created the book with point of views from executives from the field that know how to navigate the change through an organization. And that, that was one of the reasons why I found it important to, to write such a book. All right, thank you very much. And we already discussed right before having this live stream a little bit about the, the name DevSecOps. It's quite a loaded term. Can you go a little bit into what the difference for, uh, as, a, as a conclusion to the book at least, what was the difference between DevOps and DevSecOps to you? Yeah, so uh, th this is a loaded discussion. <laughs> I mean, uh, we had a, quite some fun conversations with uh, with the chapter authors when we were composing the book um, with the same question, right? Is there any mm -hmm. difference between DevOps and DevSecOps? Um, I think there can be a case made, right? 